Yo, what is up, guys? This is going to be a quick video just explaining the seasonal challenges for week one. First and foremost is going to be Wayfinder's Voyage 1. Use the Wayfinder's Compass to complete Wayfinder Vo Voyage 1. Also, defeat taken anywhere in the system. Powerful taken in the Shattered Realm. Award more progress. This was not too hard. I just played the game uh, casually and I just got it. Umbral Wayfinder. Use the Parallax Trajectory to focus Umbral Engrams at the pr Prismatic Recaster in the Helm. Open Wayfinder Troves in the Astral alignment activity uh again this one's not that hard uh just do the umbral ingram focusing which uh you have to unlock and then when finder troves uh just complete the the this season's activity three times i would say just keep doing the activity over and over because there's gonna be ones where oh do you have to open three six nine twelve all that stuff so just keep doing the the activity as for umbler in games focused i don't know if they're going to be stacking that one as well uh but i would do it just in case leyline rumors align beacons and discover trivial mysteries in the shattered realm this one's not going to be too hard i want to say but depends what kind of mysteries you're talking about uh, i would look up online uh later on in the weeks if you're still confused about this one Ascendant Ballast, uh, gather Ascendant Anchors from Patrol Destinations and the Shattered Realm. Again, not too hard. I already got five and two from the Shattered Realm Ascendant Anchors. This one is just, again, continue to just play the game. A lot of these are just, just play the game how you're usually playing it. Defeat Guardians and Momentum Control, earn bonus progress with Zone Advantage. This one's not going to be too hard. Uh, momentum Control is really fast. And if you're using like a Scout Rifle or a Shotgun, anything that can one tap, uh, not saying scout rifles one tap but scout rifles are usually the best because they can two tap but yeah this one's super simple as well complete gambit matches earn, earn bonus progress for wins this one might be the one that people don't do uh if it were up to me and you were if you were to tell me tony i want to do the least amount of gambit matches or gambit in general what do i do i would say wait until week 10 and then just knock out all of the gambit ones in one session that's what a lot of people do but i'm gonna do it just because i i do a lot of weeklies edz patrol in in the edz earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and lost sectors this one's really good because this week uh there's a lot of uh there's a lot, a lot of things that you can collect that give you a lot of uh material for the new season so that's really good for challengers aspiration com complete weekly challenge or playlist challenges again this one's not too hard this one is just literally do gambit crucible gambit crucible and uh vanguard maybe complete the um the banshee bounties maybe i'm not too sure uh, calibrate mid-range weapons, hand cannons, auto rifle, fusion rifles, and machine guns in the EDZ. Bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants. The reason I have this at 52 is because I was uh, doing the quest, or not the quest, I was doing one of the strikes in the EDZ. That's why I have it so high. And last but not least, scorn pest control. Defeat scorn combatants and strikes. Earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. This one's not going to be hard at all considering that the nightfall right now is scorn so i highly recommend just go in do a bunch of uh a bunch of nightfalls and you'll have this one done overall this is not too hard just play the game uh dredging dredging up victory momentum can crash and challengers aspiration are the only ones that you're gonna have to go out of your way but other than that some of these are just really simple and some of these are just like just continue to do what you're doing uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll links are in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on my stream, guys. I like to stream uh, usually every day, but I'm going to be changing that later. So uh, stay tuned for that. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.